would she ask you how she looked? Yes. And sometimes when she asked you how she looked, would she be inappropriately attired? She would be topless. Uh, usually just topless or like an open robe. And sometimes, you know, with her clothes on. And what ages are you talking about where she would expose herself to you this way? Mm -hmm. Overall. Um, I was like, I was about 11. Did she help you with your baths? Yes. How would she help you with your baths? She would uh, come in after I'd been in there a while. She would help wash my hair and uh, wash, wash me with a sponge. How old are you talking about? Same, 11, 11 to like, 11 to 13. And when she, you say she would wash you with the sponge, would she just wash your back or? Um, no, she would uh, wash me everywhere. She would wash your genitals? Yes. You slept in bed with your mom a lot, didn't you, even when you were little? Yes. And? Did you continue to sleep in her bed around this time when you're 11 and 12? Um, sometimes. And sometimes, did you touch your mom? Yes. Would your dad be in bed? Sometimes. And where would you touch her? Um. Uh, everywhere. Did she touch your back? Um, she kissed me, but she didn't touch me. And how long did these things go on for? Mm, until I was uh, 13, a little bit farther than that. And when this was going on with your mom, was she nicer to you than she used to be? No. Uh, she was worse. And did it stop at some point? It stopped um, a few months after I was 13. Who stopped it? I did. How did she react to that? She was furious and uh, you know, she couldn't be too much worse, but she harassed me and we just sort of had arguments about and problems about that for a long time, a couple of years. Was your really for my whole life because it came out in other ways too. Your relationship with your mother was never good before that, is that correct? No. <coughs> was it worse after that? Oh yeah, she was just... Uh, she was pretty much uh, zeroed in on me after that. Very, uh, I don't know, she felt rejected. I don't, I don't know what she felt exactly, but uh, it was just, it was a constant uh, attacking. Were, just you basically. Angry? Were you angry with her also? Was I angry? I was, I was very... Um, angry. I thought that it was unfair. Why was it unfair? Um, because we were doing this and she was enjoying it. And uh, I had, was hoping that things were going to get better uh, for our whole relationship and things might get better. And she got worse. Did you and think she was going to love you if you did these things? Um, I took it to be love. And uh, that's what I want. 
Did you always have problems with her after that about your girlfriends? Uh, I always had problems with her with my girlfriends, yes. And after, after all of this stopped with your mother, did she show you specifically that she was unhappy that it had stopped or she was angry about it? She harassed me. What do you mean she harassed you? He just kept um, exposing herself, picking me up in, at the clubs with, you know, in a robe, exposed, leaving her underwear around, calling me into the room when she was, she knew that she was, you know, changing, asking me if, uh, if she looked pretty, and called me a liar when I said yes. Um, sometimes she would be in a tantrum and then she would come over and she would um, touch my face real gentle like she was going to kiss me and then, and then she would go back into a rage. And she was very upset. And I think, uh, she, I think maybe Diane being in the house later upset her more. Did she ask you questions about your girlfriends? Did she seem to want to know a lot of personal details about your relationships with your girlfriends? Well, um, yes. No, she didn't want to know personal details, but she, she didn't want anybody from a broken home. Um, and she was just, it was just a suspicion. Everybody was a gold digger. Everybody was having affairs or a bimbo. Um, nobody was, I, I don't, she didn't really say what she wanted for me. Um, my dad had an idea of what he wanted. She was just, um, I only had a couple girlfriends and two girlfriends that I had relationships with, but uh, both of them she, uh, well three, because of Christy, so three. And uh, she was, uh, you know, very, uh, <sighs> this really was more than critical, it was just like humiliating who my girlfriends were as people, and, uh, and Well, you mentioned Christy. Christy was a very pretty model, is that right? She was pretty. And was she nice? Yeah, she was like an angel. And did your mom like her? My mom just despised her. And did your mom call her names? Sustain. This is 1989, the spring. Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> it's the spring 1989 is, is the time. It you was. Know? Yes. And what names did she call her? <sighs> she called her the same names that my dad did. With my dad didn't like Christy either, and called her a slut and a bimbo and a gold digger and uh, just a country girl that had, she had come in from out of state. She was from the Midwest, and she came here to be a model. And Did your mom do something about the plates that you ate off of? Well, she thought she was AIDS infected, and uh, what was that based on? that she was a model. And uh, so she wouldn't let me eat at the table. So I ate on paper plates in the den. And uh, she wouldn't, uh, I remember she, uh, I let Christy go in the kitchen one time when my mom wasn't there. And my, my brother actually allowed her in the kitchen. I was playing tennis. And uh, my mom found out and they were furious over the phone and then she came home and she would boiled all the silverware, everything in the kitchen. Told me she'd never be allowed in her house again. And uh, the relationship ended shortly after that. <laughs>